found this in the Gateway Pundit. Milwaukee wards, wards report more presidential votes than registered voters. State voter turnout nearly 90%, which is impossible. Well, this is the Gateway Pundit. Maybe they're lying, right? I should find another source. I found this from Milwaukee City Wire. Same thing. Seven Milwaukee wards report more than more 2020 presidential votes than registered voters. It seems pretty clear cut to me. And then if you come down, it actually has the numbers. But I'm not going to get...
chairperson can issue him what type of ballot? A provisional envelope. Why? Where is it going? Not in the tabulator. It's going in that envelope, right? We have how many days? Six. So what is the Department of Elections going to do with it? Destroy it. to you live from the TCF Center in Detroit where there's a huge challenge to the ballots that arrived overnight challengers and poll watchers they have to wear a mask and they have to stay six feet that's important because they can come behind your table. But if you don't have six feet, they can't come back there. Any questions? Six feet back, but they really good vision. They can actually see that. They got really good vision. I think we're not this. <laughs> six feet. That's the rule, right? And you are entitled to your six feet. Is that common? I mean, can we expect that? Yep, yeah, there's a common. They come, I don't know if they're coming to every precinct, but they're coming to many of them in the city. Yes, we have already gotten word, the state has already seen it. They are coming. And the basic thing they're going to challenge is what? No. The absentee ballot. That is correct. But if they're like challenging and they start yelling and kind of making a scene. 9-1-1. They got, they got standards. They got conduct standards. Okay. They make a scene, get them about it. No police are. Six feet back with a really good vision. Six feet In the city of Detroit. In Wayne County. And we have hundreds of people chanting to stop the count. Um, I've been told that President Trump, it's getting louder. President Trump has filed for a lawsuit to stop the count. Here's what's going on in Detroit. I left the GOP office to make photocopies. When we arrived back to TCF Center, we were stopped by security. Um, I was in an elevator and security wouldn't let the elevator go. And, you know, I just prayed really quick and asked the Lord for some help. And I'm like, uh, sir, Mr. Security Guard, sir, um, what's the holdup? And I called our um, the office, the GOP office. We have some uh, attorneys, and the attorney said, "You let them know that you're on GOP business. That you've got copies that we need to do the job of challenging the poll." And this person called their supervisor. I was able to get up, but there are literally a thousand people that are poll challengers and poll watchers that have not been allowed in the building. The security guard told me that it was the general manager for the building for TCF, who I happened to track down. And he said, no, it's it's not the building. Um, it's the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services um, has called, Governor Whitmer has called on the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services to come down and shut down the ability for us to be able to challenge these ballots in the city of Detroit. People that have been in this business doing poll challenging for 20 years, you can see over here, this is where it's all going on, have never seen 
anything like this. The level of um, the Democratic challengers, the level of harassment um, is unbelievable. It's, it's divisive, it's ugly, swearing and intimidation is all, all part of it. It's, I, you guys, I don't even have words. So if you pray, now's a really good time. Now's a really good time to pray. So they're just chanting, stop the count, stop the count. Um, and we're hoping that they do. I'm going to turn this around and see if I can zoom in for you guys. So you can see under there. I'll see if I can get a better view. Turn it back to me. Bathroom, they're not allowing you to come back in. So if you leave, if you're a challenger and you leave the room to go to the bathroom, they're not allowing you to come back in. They sent the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services to remove only those from the Republican Party. So we do not have equal representation. Apparently the um, commission, uh, the voters commission, yeah, what is it? I'm trying to remember the, the right term. Um, has been on site and they aren't doing anything. They're not interceding. Um, we do also know that we had challengers that were actually in saying, I want to challenge that particular ballot. Um, and the people that are in charge of the specific precinct for that ballot challenge were non-responsive. Again, we have people here that have been challenge, poll challengers for decades. And what's going on here is crazy. It's crazy. I'm going to turn it around again so you can see what's going on. So I'm live at the TCF Center in Detroit, Michigan. And it is absolutely our hope that they stop the count because it is not... Um, it's not being handled correctly. It's not being handled um, illegally. Um, the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services is locking people out of the building, saying that the building is at capacity. You guys, this is a 40,000 square foot building. I'm standing alone in an area of the building. This building is not at capacity. These are the people that are outside that are being locked out, with the exception of media. Media is being allowed in, which is just crazy. So.
how do you challenge a ballot? You take the ballot, you write in the, under the barcode 2003, and you cover it with what kind of tape? Post it. The post it tape. But this time, you're going to put it in a secrecy sleeve, and Mr. Starks is going to go vote as normal. So his ballot is going through what? The tabulator. In Michigan, what can we do now as, as new voters? We can register to vote up and through election day. The computer system, the electronic poll book program is downloaded on Saturday before election day. It is not a live feed. So if someone registers on Sunday or Monday, they're not going to be in your computer. But they should have a receipt. When they register, if they do not vote at the time they register, they give them a receipt to bring to the precinct. So Mr. Stark, he came in. You looked and you didn't find him. So you're going to say, Mr. Stark, are you a registered voter in Michigan? Mr. Stark is going to say, sure. I'm Iron Man. I flew in yesterday and I'm registered to vote. Right? Mr. Stark, if they give you a receipt, hopefully he will have one. He would have either, right up under here. The first type of receipt he might have is going to say process him as a challenge voter. Everybody highlight that. Then below that it says note to an election inspector. Highlight that because those are going to be the directions on how you process his ballot. The one down below says, process him as a regular voter, a regular ballot. Highlight that. So there are two separate types of receipts. The first receipt is going to tell you to process him as a challenge voter. The second receipt will tell you to process him as a regular voter. They might have either one. school students as EPIs. And if you can't go to the receiving board, because it's late at night, right? If you can't go, you need to tell your chairperson early in the day, hey, I can't do the receiving board. They will choose someone else to go with them. Connector. 
a lot of our EPIs are teenagers, you know, in high school, and they can't stand up until one to two in the morning. So, you know, they'll need someone to drop his laptop off. Because on election day, we'll have you'll have numbers of troubleshooters like myself and different coordinators. But honestly speaking, it's gonna be hard to you know get a hold of someone. Because it's gonna be <laughs> ten people calling at, or uh, a mishap at the same time. What do you notice about his name? Absentee ballot. what? Sent and received. Do not what? Yes, show him a ballot. Mr. Allen, we have received your ballot. Thank you very much for voting. Would you like I wrote a sticker? <laughs> right? He's already voted. There's no reason for him to vote again. At all. Ever. That day. He's done. <laughs> But what if he gets what? Loud, rude, rude. That's not me. I didn't vote. I don't want to vote. And just acts of pure, right? What can you do? Your chairperson can issue him what type of ballot? A provisional. A provisional envelope. Why? Where is it going? Not in the tabulator. It's going in that envelope, right? He, we have how many days? Six. So what is the Department of Elections going to do with it? Destroy it. At this time, I'm asking Mr. Daniel Sims to allow these 19 people in so that they can assist with the counting, just as the Democrats are in counting. Now, Mr. Sims has said that there are COVID rules that he cannot break, 
and therefore he's not allowing these people in. If that is the case, let's take 10 or 12 or 15 Democrats out and let 10 or 12 or 15 or 19 Republicans in. These, these fine people have been on a rooftop in the sun. Uh, they are well behaved, well groomed, uh, all uh, cooperative and patient. And they merely want their opportunity to help count and watch the counting. And everyone in this country now knows that overnight 200,000 votes were suddenly appeared in the city of Detroit. That's a lot. Ballots landing in Arizona last night. Biden ballots landing in Arizona last night. Unbelievable footage that we have for you right here. We were lucky enough to have a man on the ground filming. And as you can see, this is a plane load of mail-in ballots landing in Arizona last night. So they got a lot of counting to do. As you can see here, this is a jumbo jet. They've got 5 million mail-in ballots for Biden loaded up on that C-5. And so here you go. It's going right to the polling place. There it goes, Maricopa County. They've just discovered another million mail-in ballots for Joe. But that's not it. We have footage from Georgia. This is, this is early last night. Here's footage from Georgia. Another plane load. Look at this. Mail-in ballots arriving in Georgia. It's unbelievable. As you can see here, the, 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 the plane load of mail-in ballots landing in Fulton County last night. Magically all for Biden. Thank God we were able to get that plane. We also have footage, guys. Can we go to can we go to Pennsylvania? This is in Pennsylvania. We have similar footage. As you can see here, they had to go right to the polling place, landing nearly on top of cars on the road. That's how desperate they were to get these ballots to Philadelphia County right there. A lot of counting. We're sleeping. Biden won another state. Isn't that magic? Yeah, my analogy in the first segment with the basketball team wasn't even enough. It's not just that they have 12 players on the floor. They've also got 30 basketballs that they're scoring with. And those that overnight 200,000 votes were suddenly appeared in the city of Detroit. That's a lot of counting. And those, if there's 19 Democrats down there that are counting, it's only fair that 19, now the number looks to be about 25, should be permitted to go down and count just like the Democrats. So I'm asking you, Mr. Daniel Sims, please allow these Michigan residents to come in at this time. It's now 3.26 p.m. and many of them be up here two hours. I called them and I asked them to come up. And they, and they took days out of their working schedule. They, they, they took a half day, a day, to assist with the democracy of this country. That's right. That's right. And now they're being told they got to wait on a rooftop because, they're, because they're, there are COVID rules and it doesn't make sense. The building is acres and acres. They all have face masks. And if there's 15 or 20 Democrats, then 15 or 20 Republicans should be let in, alternately at least. Yes. They all have masks on. None of them appears to be sick, and nor have you asked them if they're sick. You could simply ask each one, do you have any COVID symptoms? No. 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 Do any of you have, have you, any of you been with anyone in COVID, that has COVID in the past 24 hours? No. no. Well, that's right, we have been. We have, this group has been. They wouldn't let us in. They will not let us in. They put cardboard over the windows. They put cardboard over the windows? Yeah. All right. Uh, so, Mr. I, I Mr. Daniel, some three more people have just come in and said I, I they are not to, being allowed. I would like to propose if they take a head count, how many Democrats are counting versus how many Republicans, let's even that up. If they take a head count, how many Democrats are counting versus how many Republicans, let's even that up. If there's 300 Democrats, there should be 300 Republicans counting. 
then send some of your Democrats They're out. Not even down there. They're not even. Yeah, yeah, they they they're not even. They're not even. They still are not letting you independent people down. Okay. And then another 135 from not. We've watched CLB people leave and they do and not let anyone back in. Well, they, should come out. they should come out. They should come out and it should be Democrats versus Republicans counting. It should be an even tally. Don't you agree? Of course, yeah. of course. All right, I'm going to end this video now because I want to bring it down to the authorities. I'm asking you one more time, Mr. Danielson, please let these counters come in. Will you let them in? You can't. Why not? Capacity. What COVID capacity? What is capacity? Radio again and ask your boss. Who told you not to okay, disclose I'll, any I'll, I'll information? Can you at least radio and ask again if anything I'll has changed? More information. See, I'll be giving my stress. Have you been, were you told not to let this particular group in? There's three people that can go in because us three are coming out, so three people can go in. How about that? He hasn't been doing that. No. Whoever comes no, out, he doesn't, doesn't let people, people in. Walk out and and they're not keeping track of who's coming and going. Just like them in County Dallas, they're not keeping track. They have no clue how many people are in there and coming. They have no clue. There's more Democrats in there, I'm going to tell you right now. Republicans. That's what we were told. <laughs> Mr. Sims. You've mentioned COVID yeah. rules. Can you just tell us what COVID rules you're referring to? No comment. I'm asking oh, you a third time. Will you let these people in? They've been sitting as a third, fourth, or fifth time. Still, it was all the same answer. No comment. Again, there's 25 people up here on the roof of a building. Would you let them in? No comment. Democrats I'm are not letting us. Republicans in, folks. Yeah, this is they're also I'm not letting any independents in. Yeah. And they are not letting us in. They're not letting us in, folks. They say that black lives matter, but black votes don't matter. Because Trump is winning in Detroit. And you guys are thwarting his efforts in Detroit. 